So our role, the URA's main role in financing is as, is as a gap financer. Okay. <clears throat> so if a business comes to us, and, and that's actually at all levels, from the smallest business up to the largest development that we do, like Southside Works or Bakery Square. Um, if a business comes to us and says, um, I have a business plan, because that's always the most important thing, is to have a business plan, and uh, I need $100,000 to start my business, and I've gone to the bank, and I've gone to my Aunt Mary, and I've gone to my credit card and my bank account, and I can come up with 60, and we need to figure out how to get the rest. That's where we can come in to, to, to fill in that gap and to figure out how to get the rest. So is, is that money, is it state derived? Is it, is it grant money? Where, where does that, the origin of those funds come from? Most of it is in um, low interest loans. Uh, a, a very little bit of the money that we can give is grant money, for instance, to fix up the front of the building, right. facade money. Um, and we have a, a couple of other very small grant programs, but it's, it's mostly um, loan financing. And it's derived from many sources. Uh, some of it is from state programs, some of it is from general funds, some of it is from other loan repayment. Uh, so we, we have a lot of sources. I always tell folks that um, I can't sit down and tell you exactly one program or another. Mm -hmm. The best thing is to talk to one of our um, loan officers and they can sort of pull all the strings and figure out what financing. Is. So, so let's talk about the facade grants because the hardware store has actually uh, has actually received one of those. Um, <clears throat> so, how does that work? So, for the general audience. So, Kiana is the the, per, the staff person who deals. Hi, with Kiana. With facade, facade grants. Hi. <laughs> so, how's it work, Kiana? This is fun. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, we have several different facade um, grant and loan programs. <clears throat> it just depends on where. The business is located in the city, um, but basically um, they're all matching programs. So, right. so the one that you got here at the hardware store matched was our is our storefront renovation program. It matched 50% of your total cost up to $5,000. So, if it was a $3,000 project, we can get you $1,500 towards it. Um, we have much larger programs. That's our smallest of the programs that we have. So. <clears throat> If a small business wants to say work on their facade, they need to find other resources to kind of fill that funding gap. Correct. And a good a good example of that might be Kiva Zip, right? It like might a Kiva be Zip. A Kiva loan. Zip. We're trying to um, we're working with Kiva Zip to um, help store business owners in a storefront that may not be theirs. It may be their building. Um, they may need help coming up with their match for our money. So we're working with Kiva to. Um, make it easier for the business owner to get the project done. So would it be fair to say that there's a there's a possibility of no out-of-pocket money to do a facade That is fair, although we do have an application fee with our with the URA's program, that would be an out-of-pocket out of fee. I bet it's a lot. Is it it's a lot? Two, it depends on which program, but if it's our $5,000 grant, it's a $250 application. Fee. But again, that could come out of, out of the Kiva money. It could. Yeah, so, yeah, so there, there be, are creative ways to kind of... Right, so so if you match Kiva with us, there's a possibility that you have no out-of-pocket money and you're doing business as usual and not taking a hit on getting that renovated facade. Cool. What other great programs should we be talking about as far as URA goes? The New Market Loan Fund is kind of interesting. Um, takes the new market structure and uses it on a much uh, smaller scale. So instead of your typical... 20, 40 million dollar new market program, um, we'd be looking at something much smaller between 500,000 and, and one and a half million. Um, so, uh, okay, I have no idea what any of that means. So, what's new, that mean? New market tax structure is um, it's very long and involved. <laughs> 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 to make it easy, what we look at, uh, we're looking for somebody who owns the property. We would love to have a manufacturer in there. Okay, uh, you can't move for seven years, you okay. do have to be in a new market district. Um, and it's interest only payments for seven years. So interesting. So how would that apply to a neighborhood like Allentown? Um, a neighborhood like Allentown, um, if there are any former breweries here, any factories, things like that, somebody wanted to get something like that going again, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. then the New Market Loan Fund could come in and finance equipment, acquisition of the building, leasehold improvements. Uh, so how much? How much could those be? 
um, up to one and a half million. That's the wow. max on the new market structure. That is awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you guys for coming downstairs and, and checking out the podcasting booth. We'll put this content up, like I said, on, on YouTube and you can reference it and we can reference it and people can learn about all the very important work that the URA does. So thanks a lot. One thank last you. thing. Oh, um, well, yeah, for sure. Uh, if anyone watches this and has any further questions or needs more information, please go to the URA's website. It's www.ura.org. And we also uh, co-sponsor with the city a website called launchpgh.com, which has um, plenty of resources for a startup business. So we always want to, people to go and do, do their research first and then contact us whenever they're ready to go. Yeah, Launch PGH is, is a really cool site. It's got all kinds of neat functionality and stuff like that. And you can see co-working spaces, you can see loan offices and everything else. So thanks again, guys. And we'll post the website URL in the video as well.